It's a mutually assured distraction on both ends. Is this technology different than, say, nuclear weapons, which require a huge amount of investment and you have to like enrich the uranium and you need billions of dollars potentially to even build a nuclear weapon? But it feels like this technology is much cheaper to get to superintelligence potentially, or at least it will become cheaper. I wonder if it's possible that some some guy, some startup is going to be able to build superintelligence in, you know, a couple of years without the need of, no. you know, billions of dollars of compute or, or electricity power. That's a great point. So every year it becomes cheaper and cheaper to train sufficiently large model. If today it would take a trillion dollars to build superintelligence, next year it could be a hundred billion and so on. At some point, a guy in a laptop could do it. But you don't want to wait four years for make it affordable. So that's why so much money is pouring in. The difference between the two technologies is that nuclear weapons are still tools. Some dictator, some country, someone has to decide to use them, deploy them, whereas superintelligence is not a, is not a tool, it's an agent. It makes its own decisions and no one is controlling it. I cannot take out this dictator and now superintelligence is safe. So that's a fundamental difference to me.